there's a free journaling app that comes already installed on your iPhone and I wanna show you exactly how to use it in this video. The name of the app is just called Journal here and this is what the homepage of it looks like. I reinstalled mine to show you exactly how to use it from scratch. If you search for it and you can't find it on your phone, you could go to the App Store, look for the Journal app. This is the icon for it. It's directly from Apple and it's free. So download it and open it from there. And from this page, let me show you how to start with creating a journal for the first time. And then I'll show you some of the more advanced things you have too. So the very first thing you wanna do is press the plus sign right over here. And you just give your journal a title and start writing any type of text that you want over here. There's some other options. So let's call this our first one. Type in any text you want over here. And with any of this area right here, if you select any portion, you have some options down here. So you could change the formatting, for example. You can make things bold, italic. You could change the color. So the typical stuff over here for formatting. Then next to it, you have this option right here. So this gives you suggestions for journaling based on things you're doing on your iPhone already. I'm gonna turn this on and I'll show you on the next one what this could do because this takes advantage of all the things you could do on your iPhone and brings it into journaling if you don't wanna do it always from scratch. So I'm gonna turn this on and allow for that to happen. I'll show you how that works because you'll see some things are gonna appear over here when you do that. You could also journal and add images or take photos. So this one lets you add images from your photo library. So I added this quick image right on top over here. You could give it access to your camera and take the picture right there. This option right here allows you to record any type of audio to go along with your text or photos. So if I wanna record a quick audio, I'll just record it right there, press stop, and it's gonna go ahead and add that as well over here. You could see that right on top, I could always erase it if I want. Next to it, you got this option. This is gonna pull up your location here. So all these different locations around you, you could go ahead and add those if you want as a location to your journal. And this last option gets access to your health information. You do have to turn this on. So I'm gonna show you this in a second as well if you're doing journaling that's related to your health. I'm gonna go ahead and press done on top and this is gonna go ahead and create our first journal. Right on top is gonna to say how many journals you've created, how many words you've written, and the dates as well, and then you'll scroll here. So we'll go ahead and create a second one, but this time we'll use some of the suggestions that I just give access to over here. So let's say I wanna choose this image as an example. This is one of the recommendation that he gave me, and I could go ahead and start writing about it or save it without writing. I'll start writing. And a few other options you have too with a journal entry is you could go ahead and bookmark it. So this is gonna save it right on top for you. And if you press the three dots over here, you, you could edit the date, you could hide the title, you could delete it from here. This time I'm gonna press done over here. So this was one that was created through a recommendation, obviously from a different year, previous year, but you could see I have this year now, I have some previous years, and then I could sort it different. So on this page, you could always sort it based on the entry dates or by the moment dates over here using these three dots. And with this new update, they also made your journal searchable. So you could save by typing in something. So NYC is something I wanted to search. I could search for that and it's gonna pull up the related journal entry, especially when you start creating a ton of these throughout the years. That's gonna be a really useful option for you to be able to search them. And then if you press these three dots, you have some other options I wanna point out. One is Insights. Obviously, this is a brand new app that I just installed on this phone, so it doesn't have anything, but it's gonna give you some stats over here. It's gonna give you streaks. It's gonna pull up a calendar, so you could see a dot from the days you did create a journal entry, so you could jump into it that way as well. I'll exit out of there. You also have access to your health information if you wanna give it access to that. So if you select this option, it's gonna let you, in your settings, turn all these options on, and it will have access to that inside of the journal app. And then you also could lock your journal too. So if you lock it, it's gonna go ahead and require a passcode to unlock it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock mine over here and it says passcode required after one minute. And you have some other options as well, including immediately. If I chose immediately and if I try to open this app, it's gonna give me this pop-up and it's not gonna let me unlock it till I give it my face ID. So since typically journals are a private thing, I do recommend you turn that on inside of the settings option to lock your journal. You could always print it as well. So those are all the options you have over here. With any of them you have selected, you could always press the three dots and delete them or edit them if you wanna add anything to a previous journal right from this page over here.
So a very easy to use journaling app for your iPhone. They still don't have this for the iPad or for the Mac for some reason. So hopefully that comes out so it syncs across all those devices when you add a new journal. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.